Hey, what's up guys? My name is Matt. Today I'm bringing you another sneaker review video, designer sneaker review video, golden goose sneaker review video. Let's get into it. It's a golden goose. What are they? What brand are they? Because we're going to be talking about the shoes I have, shoes they've made, some controversy with them, and should you buy them for full retail or discounted price, like we talk about here a lot, buying shoes on a discount. Let's get into it. So my pair, boom. I have these high top golden goose, almost like super punk rock with the look as we'll get into the golden goose a lot. They have a lot of different designs, high, low, anything in between. It's all based around having a high quality version of like a Converse, a Vans, something like that and then totally beating the crap out of it and making it just look like it's been worn for like years. So as you can see on this pair, if you want to look at it, there is distressing all the way across the midsole. There's this like dirt stain glue looking thingy, mababar doohickey thing. But if you look on the inside, like right here, you'll see that there there's like hardly anywhere bottom. There's hardly anywhere. I, I haven't worn these too often yet. Yeah, I feel like these are perfect summer sneaker and I got them in the fall because I found them for a good deal in the real real. Plug in the real real again. Check out my first video that I ever posted if you want to know great places to find luxury stuff for cheap like these. So what is the draw with them? You're probably sitting there right now like, you spent how much to make your shoes look like a homeless person crapped in them? I guess the answer to that is yes, yes. I think there's a funny article even too that says Italian luxury brand slammed for controversial shoes that mock poverty. <laughs> like what? And it's because there's a lot of these shoes that is literally just based off another shoe made with higher quality materials, made in Italy, made to just look beat. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why would I want a pair of shoes that look like that? I think there's sometimes that you just want to be a little bit more subtle but want a higher quality pair of shoes to go with your look. I almost think there's even some beauty in distressing that that's the reason people buy distressed jeans or distressed shirts or anything distressed in the first place is to kind of get that worn in look. And I think shoes like these, a like Golden Goose Margiela, do a really good job at bridging that, not wanting to wear a shoe for three years and just go buy it and have high quality materials. So retail on these suckers, $500. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all a lot of money for a beat up pair of Chuck Taylor lookalikes. But we're gonna talk about that. So, getting into the shoe, see, star right here, Golden Goose logo. It's a little debossed in gold, Golden Goose, or GD, G, 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 D, B, D, G, G, D, B, star one for the shoe model. It's only on this shoe. It's not on this one, surprisingly, which is weird. It's not there at all. Star on this one as well. You can see his little scuff marks everywhere. Star right here. You can see where the midsole kind of comes in. I think that's like so good that it lines up perfectly with that stitch right here. Then comes around and actually stitches in through the midsole down to here. Inside there is a leather insole, which you can actually remove to where you will find this. But you can see it's a leather lined sole, very hard rubber bottom, kind of glued down right here. And yeah, this is the insole in it. You have V-Star 1, it says Golden Goose Deluxe brand, Venezia, Venezia. If I could ever get the thing back. So. Should you cop these? I guess it's up to you. It's almost up to your personal style and how you like to look. Sometimes they're, sometimes it's like you want to be wearing a nicer pair of shoes, but you want to make it look like you're not wearing a nice pair of shoes. I feel like this is where these fit in perfectly, to be honest. It's almost like you don't want to flex, but you also want to flex at the same time. And these are like the perfect medium of both. Now quality on these, I think is pretty good. I think that there is definitely high quality materials used in these shoes all the way around from the midsole to the upper. I mean, it's a canvas upper. It's not anything special, honestly, but even the elastic used, everything used in this is definitely worth a $400 price point. They didn't cheap out at all on any part of the shoe. And even if I wanted to compare them with like a Chuck, for example, this is the Chuck Taylor 2. Haven't worn these too much. They look pretty worn. They just kind of sit in my room. But as you can kind of see, very, very similar look. These ones 
basically fit my foot super tight. These are really loose. I would size down in these. I went true to size and sometimes regret it. There you go, I can kind of see top down. These fit a little bit tight, these don't. But yeah, like the canvas material honestly feels way better on this one. Hatch feels way better on this one. The bottom of this, this one is way higher quality than this one. This one's like cheap rubber. This one actually feels like this one actually feels like you're getting traction if you're gonna step anywhere. And even like there's just small details in this that really bring it out, like the suede hit right here, the line that goes all the way up on both sides. Just such a good quality pair of shoes. Now, is it for everybody? Should you be buying it? Probably not. I think that a good pair of beat up chucks probably look better. But I think that a lot of times we want to look different. That's why we're into fashion. That's why we buy the clothes we do. That's why we buy everything. And a pair of these will make you look different. will make you stand out a little bit and in a subtle way and not like a very standoff way, like a fear of God military sneaker. Link to the description below if you want to watch that video. And yeah, let me know what you think. Do you like the beat up sneaker look that it's already distressed before you get it. Are you more of a, I'm gonna beat it up, I'm just gonna buy a pair of Converse and call it a day type of person? Leave in the comments below, I'd love to hear your opinion on this. And like always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.